Hi, this is Jack Stanley. I want to talk about John Brown. Many of people have heard of John Brown from the, well, the beginnings of the Civil War, actually, before it. John Brown, famous in bleeding Kansas, and of course, leading a slave revolt in uh, Harper's Ferry. He was captured by Robert E. Lee. And actually uh, executed for his actions. John Brown, madman, good man, savior, devil, who knows? Some people love him, some people hate him. It's interesting to note, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about his effect. And of course, once the American Civil War started, he became a martyr for the North. In fact, I wanted to share a book that was written, perhaps the first book written on John Brown. There might be a few earlier ones, I don't know. John Brown was uh, executed in the end of 1859. This book is from 1860, and it has a little faceplate in here with the picture of John Brown. And uh, over here, you will see The Public Life of Captain John Brown by James Redpath with an autobiography of the childhood and youth. What I find interesting here, of course, it has the, the uh, motto of Virginia, which is Sic, Sic Semper Tyrannus. Of course, that's exactly what John Wilkes Booth would say when he assassinates Lincoln. And of course, this is from 1860. Very early, very early story on John Brown. One of the earliest. And of course, books like this would influence a whole generation of people. There would be songs like John Brown's body lies a moldering in the grave that would be popular long after the American Civil War. John Brown, I think a lot of people had no idea who John Brown was. In fact, there were people who thought he was African American. He was not. There are people that have various views of John Brown. But John Brown was very religious and thought that slavery was a religious cruel crime. And uh, those that kept slaves thought it was within their religion to keep slaves. So it was, it got ugly. And of course, there were a great deal of, of battles in Kansas. And of course, in later years, of course, at uh, Harper's Ferry, he died. He became one of the poster boys for the North trying to end slavery. So Hero, villain, everyone kind of looks at him differently. But John Brown can say one thing, if he was able to say it. And that is that he's left a lasting influence on posterity.